boys and girls and welcome back to Miss Tracy's virtual drawing class. Today we're going to be drawing the Pow Pow fish. So to do that you'll need a piece of paper. I'm using an A4 size, it wouldn't matter which size you use as long as you can fit it inside the paper. You could use a pencil if you can find one. You could use a coloured pencil, it doesn't matter. You could also, if you can't find a pencil, use a pen. But today I'm going to be using a black marker so it's easy for you to see. Uh, you can use one too if you like. So to start off, we're going to be starting to draw his big googly eyes. He has them just off the centre of the page, just down slightly underneath the centre of the page. So we're going to be drawing two big wide open mouths. One over here first. And the other one, just beside it. They're not going to be perfect, but that's fine. Every fish looks different, remember that. Inside the eye, we're going to be drawing some slopey sticks, or it could be like a very long tunnel. Inside the eye at the top, coming over and across. Same on the other side, coming over and across. And then we're going to do the same thing underneath. And they're his big eyelids. Inside those eyes, when you're ready, we're going to draw two little black dots. Colour them in and we'll leave the eye there. Just in the centre, a round circle and colour it in. So a little wide open mouth and colour it in. And there you have it, his eyes. So from there, boys and girls, we're going to be drawing his big head. It's round and flat. So we're going to start by over this side here and drawing a big round mouth head coming from halfway of his eye. Around, down, up, and join up to the same on the other eye. And then we're going to be joining the inside of his head in between his eyes. A bit of a sloping stick there for you. So that's his big head. <clears throat> inside the head, we're going to be doing his mouth. You can see just here, his mouth. So we're going to be drawing three big sloping sticks, or you could say a tunnel. Starting over here. We're going to start with the first one all the way around. Try not to touch the outside of the head. We're going to come inside and draw another one just the same right underneath all the way down. Remember not to touch the side of the face. And then we're going to go above that one, the first one, and do the same again all the way around and stop. Bit of a rainbow looking. And then from the top one, we're going to join up to the middle one, which is going to make the top lip, a big fat pouty lip. So shutting the gate, open mouth. Over the other side, shut the gate. And there you have it, his lips. We are now going to move up to his long, or oh, sorry, his fin coming out of the top of his head. So they're a bit of a, a spiky looking fin coming from the top here in between his eyes. So they're going up like a jagged motion all the way up and stop and then coming back around like a shut the gate. Another one over here going up to a point coming back down slightly and stop, making another one come off that one like a point and coming back down, stopping on the head. And that's his top fin. From there, we're going to do his little bottom fins. They're his bottom arm fins. They're going to be like sloping sticks. So watch me. This one here first, coming from the head going down like a point and we're going to do these little jagged slopey sticks 
come down a little bit further almost like a Christmas tree and one more coming down and joining this one back up to the head that's one of his fins when you are complete there you can come over to this side and do something similar over the other side so starting from the head coming down try not to go off the page in a little and then down again like a Christmas tree back in and down again and all the way up joining up to his head as you can see not quite the same as my top one but it still looks like a fin so it looks great once you've finished those two fins, we're going to move up to his long tail at the back. A bit like a ponytail on someone's head. So coming from the eye, we're going to do this side of the tail, but we're not going all the way up. We're going to stop so we can allow room for the, the end of his tail. So coming up, a bit of a slopey stick. Stop. And on the other side, we're going to start in the same area and come down to the fin. If you meet the fin, stop, don't go through the fin and then join up behind to the eye. And that creates the main part of his tail. And then we're going to do the fin behind it. So from there, we're going to do the big tunnel and it takes up a lot of the page going from one side all the way around and stopping on the other side as you can see boys and girls my tail didn't meet the fin so i'm going to join them up you can do that too there's one there and the same over there so from there we're going to do the big m shape the letter m or two tunnels going up meeting in the middle and back down all the way up meet in the middle and again back down and meet the other end of the tail so from there boys and girls it's just drawing some of the lines that we have so we have lines in the fin and they're going to be like slopey sticks or shut the gates so coming from the top of the fin and slopey stick down just a few of those on there and a couple in the middle and then on the other side we need to go the other way like shutting the gate shut the gate shut the gate shut the gate and another one shut the gate and that creates the end of his tail the fin which I've painted green up there so coming down to the actual tail, we have some stripes that his tail is stripy in colour. I've chosen blue and purple because I didn't have the tealy green. So you can choose whatever colours that suit you or that you have in your pencil case at, at home. So I'm going to start by just drawing the lines. So we have from this end of the tail through to the other end, try not to go through the line, stop on the line. And that creates this part of the tail then I've got a big gap and I'm doing another tunnel and then a thinner gap for that purple section of mine and I'm just going to keep going a thicker gap and a thinner gap for the purple and I have one more just underneath here that I'm not going to go through my fins I'm going to go around the fins joining it up <clears throat> As you can see, the power pout fish has some spots. So they're like wide open mouths we did with the eyes. So there's a few in between his eyes and there's a few either side, which are actually on the top of his head. So go ahead, draw a couple of wide open mouths and we're going to color them in the same color that's on the, on the tail. So there's a few here. One over here. There's a few there and here. A big one, it's another big one here, and a little one. He's got a few over this side. It's one little one there. Big open mouth. Lots of little ones. And over on this side, he's got a very big one here. 
some tiny open mouths. Okay, so there's his spots. Now we're going to do the expression lines like under his eyes and around his, on his mouth. So under the eyes are just some gumnut cups. So under the eye on this eye, long and thin gumnut cup. And one little bit smaller underneath and it gives him his emotion, his expression, his pouting, he's not happy. And under this one, long and thin and a little bit smaller underneath. Also, we've got one above his lip, who's pushing his lips out that much that he's getting that little crease above his lip. So one long one, which is a tunnel above the lip. Once you've done that, we're going to do the lines on the lip. So they come from the outside of the lip going in and we don't touch that middle line for his inside of his mouth of his lip. So they go like slopey sticks coming all the way along, all the way along, giving him his expression that he's old and lots of expression on his lips. Same as down the bottom, we're going to come from the bottom line up this time. You might need to turn your paper upside down. That might help you. It's a bit tricky going at that angle. He's also got some lines in his fins on this side and that side that we've colored in green. So they're just little faint lines that show the fin Coming down, and down, and down, coming down, there we go. And then what's left now, boys and girls, is to colour them in. Like I said, I didn't have the right colours, so you're welcome to choose any colours that suit you. I chose a light blue for his body. I did a green, a lime green, because that's all, I didn't have a tealy green. A lime green for his fins and I wanted to contrast it with a really dark purple to bring out his spots and his stripes. I hope you enjoyed your pout pout fish. Look forward to seeing the pictures. Thank you.